Fathers of Nations is a story of four men from different parts of Africa who despite going through various misfortunes, they get together to try and influence African heads of states to approve a document that could transform the continent's economy and wealth. Each of them has suffered under bad leadership in their respective countries. They bear a grudge against the system and have a reason for wanting it to change. Professor Karanja Kimani from Kenya has lost his wife to a former university colleague now turned politician. As if that is not enough, his only daughter dies in a freaky accident on the Nairobi roads, a death that could have been avoided if the roads were made better. Pastor Chiamaka from Nigeria is a wild, intense man whose message on government accountability earns him days in jail and sees him banned from preaching. Dr. Abiola Afolabi, also from Nigeria, is an academician ditched by his American don't wife. Don't touch me. Jacob, don't touch me. Did you sleep with him yesterday? Did you? Jacob, don't. Jacob, don't what? Did you? Yes or no? It's very simple. Yes or no? Did you? He advises African heads of state but hates his role in offering theoretical solutions. Comrade Ngobile Inelusi from Zimbabwe, on the other hand, is a failed politician who finds himself on the wrong side of the political divide after independence. Suffering from being the belly when the Shona president embarked on suppressing his community, not to mention his only wife perishes in a later genocide. In narrating the hilarious antics of African government, the author also succeeds in pointing out the paradoxes, immaturities, and idiocies practiced by African political systems. The book is not so much attacking the African leaders or a tale of the failure of Africa leadership, but an account of the heart-wrenching stories of the men involved, their journeys, and how they have found inner strength in adversity. Readers of this book, students, and those who love literature will see the similarities in the political failings of each country. With each person's story, a short history of their country is disclosed. Some of the outrages the characters witnessed were subjected to is also revealed. But while one could easily conclude that the book is a challenge to the patriarchy and the evident negative masculinity widespread on the continent, given that all the leaders are men and the title is Fathers of Nations, it is not that simple. It does not simply say that men are the problem in Africa, seeing how it gives us different accounts of masculinity. On one hand, there is the heartlessness leadership of men that leads to miseries of the people represented by the African leaders. On the other hand, there are four broken men, heroes actually, who represent the values of humanity, empathy, and vulnerability. The book has the air of the biblical metaphor of how the cornerstones that the continent rejected became vital to its building. Humor brings the story alive as it narrates with a light, jaunty air. There is a blithe, devil may care candor and irreverence. 49 foreign heads of state were in banjo for the summit, all looking happy and why not? Had they not escaped from troublemakers in their home countries, Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda, a group of mutually mistrustful neighbors better at killing institutions they established jointly instead of nurturing them. They had just killed an interterritorial university they founded together only a few years earlier, reads a passage in the book. Beyond the book's appealing merit, it sets itself apart by delving into the fate of Africa, explaining why it is where it is today and what can be done to take it forward. The story ends rather sweetly, leaving just enough suspense to wonder what happens next. Father of Nations 
sets itself apart by providing new, vivid metaphors for the situation in Africa. Karibu sana to our channel, where learning never stops. Subscribe, like, and click the notification bell to catch up with the full video of Fathers of Nations as soon as we release.